welcome to the lounge. What up, everybody? This is your boy Keith coming to you live from Lloyd Center in Portland, Oregon, in the Lloyd District. So I want to talk a little bit about some certain YouTubers. One in particular is trying to shut me down by way of having others shut me down. And no other than one Garage Autonomous, a multitude of troll accounts, and I've screenshotted quite a few of them. And you know it's him. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he likes to see people get physically hurt by the hands of other people. Citation needed. That's why he docks people. Citation needed. Uh, if he can't see it on video, he likes to hear about it. That's a lie. This guy is dangerous. This guy is dangerous. This guy is dangerous. This guy is dangerous. So we have Garage Autonomous, self-proclaimed black anarchist. Yep who supports Antifa, who loves to dox people. Citation needed. Which is illegal. And he doesn't care if somebody gets physically beat up. Yep. He enjoys the fact that he has something to do with it. Citation needed. That's a lie. He gets off on that. A man who, he lives in New York. Yep. Lives in the state of New York, as he claims, married with children. Yep. Who supports sodomy, who supports ratchetness at every level no matter who the woman is, and we're talking like Sans Ray and the rest. This guy is dangerous. The guy admits to supporting Antifa, yep. which is considered by the FBI a hate group, as well as a, I guess you could say, a semi-terrorist group. Wrong. But there is no official line by the FBI or the Department of Homeland Security that Antifa are a terrorist organization right next to ISIS or even the fucking Taliban. Politico, an online right-wing rag, simply claimed that they were labeled as such by unofficial reports by law officials that the Department of Homeland Security has formally classified the activities of anti-fascist groups such as Antifa as domestic terrorist violence, quote-unquote, as of January 2016. And major media outlets like Newsweek even ran with the exact same narrative by Politico's Josh Mayer in his September 2017 article. Uh, this is what he supports. Yep. You see, the thing is, Junk Pal Video, I am an activist. I come from an actual lineage of people whose lives were destroyed by the state by spying on them, using trumped up charges, etc. to throw them in jail or, in the case of Fred Hampton, chairman of the Chicago Black Panthers, assassinated, all because people like him wanted to change the world. You, on the other hand, come from the lineage of shit, bottom-feeding, zombified taxpayers who would love to see black people tied up in backyards and women chained to ovens. Since you are uneducated, I might remind you that people like Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and others were once labeled as terrorists too, enemies of the state, according to J. Edgar Hoover. Links are in the low bar. So you are telling us that a movement that has disrupted the actions of white supremacist organizations, self-described fascist organizations, and other forms of reactionary movements, movements that share the same values that you share, are the actual problem. But white supremacy that has a long history of violence, including the gang beating of a young black man and the murder of a Caucasian woman in Charlottesville this past summer, are the innocent victims of Antifa's supposed violence? Antifa has a very long history of fighting against fascism. Unfortunately, they were unsuccessful in Germany's 1930s, and that which led to the successful triumph of Hitler's Germany. 
However, they have reorganized over time and this is where we are now with them. So what you're saying is that as far as me being a supporter of such a movement, this also says that you are on the side of neo-Nazis. I don't know who you think you are dealing with, but let me make this perfectly clear. I don't give a shit if the president says that Antifa are terrorists when I know they are not. If the state labels them so, as they did back in the 1960s with MLK and the Black Panthers, then I say Antifa are in good company. And we all know what company you belong with. Did you think I was going to cower in the face of the state and say, which by the way, they still haven't officially ever said that they're terrorists? You do know that Antifa gathers and still have events and others participating in their actions to this very day. So therefore, they're not an illegal organization. So this counters your claim that they are labeled as terrorists, which by the way, is just wishful thinking of the current right wing and especially the alt-right, which I believe that you belong to. So there's no threat there, but they are supposedly labeled as terrorists. You make a lot of allegations here, yet you provide no proof. People like Raj Autonomous, who likes to dox people and put people's addresses up in live chats, as well as comments, which is a class A felony. I can no longer do a live stream where I can screencast or my chat anymore because when it's live and somebody posts, all it takes is one second and somebody's address is up there. So you provide no proof. This is a win for Garage Autonomous and whoever else. You make a lot of allegations here, yet you provide no proof. Now, do I have a lot of troll accounts? The answer is simply no. Not because it's my say so, because let us use a little logic here. If I came into your chat posting someone's address, which could end my channel and get me arrested, which you could have done easily by reporting my account, then I would not be making this video right now. That account, if attached to mine, would have terminated this channel if reported. But luckily, I will use your very video showing the incident in question. We will clearly see that I am not in your chat room or doing what you have alleged. Uh, thinking to myself, Ghana, Nairobi, Ghana, Nairobi, you know, Kenya, Nairobi, which one? And I was, I was excited because I was like, if I go here, I want to go to Ghana too. But I cut it in half. You know, I just glad you went there. I'm glad you had a great time. I'm, I'm glad yes. to hear that you want to go back and experience some of the things that you didn't get to experience that we're talking about. Yes. Okay. Uh, I also want to give a quick uh, shout out to uh, a couple of people that just recently came in the chat, Hannibal Doom okay. and Vincent uh, Terranova, which I think was a TV show that got canceled after 13 episodes or so. Uh, uh, Terra Nova, um, I just realized you, you put an address in there. I'm just going to have to remove it. Okay. Right. So, so any information like that, um, I'm, I am going to make this video go private, but any information like that, I am going to re-edit this video. And I, now that I noticed that, I'm going to have to like uh, blur it out. So nothing against you, Vincent, but I just don't want personal information like that in the chat. Now you have here a very basic, boring conversation about toilets in Africa. I forget which particular country in Africa. After all, I did not watch this video. And you have some dude named Vincent Terranova in the chat room who did post someone's address. We have no idea whose, but according to you, it was somebody's and you did blur it out. Where am I in this whole situation? I tell you where, nowhere. So again, your burning investigative skills find no purchase reflecting on the breathing mediocrity that is you and your entire channel and letting us all know why you, as a white man, feel that you are giving the world investigative reporting on, for instance, the poor delusional pregnant black woman known as Sansa Ray, who you deem as scammers and liars. But if you are here to uncover scammers and liars on YouTube, you should put yourself in that group. You are, in fact, a joke, a paranoid, delusional joke. I hope that I didn't confuse everyone with this story. It's just, you know, I was getting excited when this guy mentioned my name and tried to attach me as being some sort of menace or danger. 
He brings up the fact that doxing is a class A felony. The thing is, is that he has no proof that I'm a doxer. I said in my last video, if that's what he's referring to, that I indeed support the activist actions of documenting right wingers and racists and sexists and white supremacists and members of the manosphere. I support it. I do not say that I actually do it. And therefore, he has no proof other than simple accusations. Junk pile video should not be taken seriously. If anyone out there who does, I seriously question your level of intelligence. That's all I have to say about this moron, this idiot, this low of blood, low of IQ, drag. Anyway, moving on. I knew this was going to be a short lounge, but, you know, this has been a very uh, busy weekend for me. So that's about it. Well, garage autonomous is a lie. Ratchet behavior is doing anything and everything illegal, knowingly illegal, robbing, doxing, murdering people. That's the stuff. If I got time, I'll, I'll work on it. There's already a lot of people like me that do exactly what I'm doing. I decided to make you a special project of mine. You ain't gonna have to come look for me at all.